Well, for today's little experiment, I've got a self-collected epidote rock that has, as you can see, iron and epidote in calcite. It came from an iron mine in southern Ontario, or eastern, southeast Ontario. What I think I'd like to do is cut this bad boy in half and then stick one half in muriatic acid, diluted muriatic acid, and the other half in vinegar, which is really, what, 5% acetic acid, acetic acid. So, let's, uh, let's get to cutting and then stick into the two solutions. This should be interesting. Well, the iron in this rock's not going to do the blade any good, but let's give it a go. Okay, so it's too big for the saw. This is the problem, my friends, with a uh, seven inch blade. I end up with rocks that just won't quite make it through. <sighs> but in this case, no worries. I know what to do. Watch this. Done. Well, for sure that rock would make a nice rock to polish in a rock tumbler. Huh. Almost tempted to do that. Let's follow through with the plan and stick these bad boys in acid. Okay, so there's the muriatic acid, there's just cheap white vinegar, and there's my plastic containers. So we'll put the smaller rock into vinegar. I think maybe I'll do it like that. And slightly larger into muriatic. There we go. Into the one that gets muriatic, I dilute with water. So that was just pure water. There goes the acid. And in this one, just vinegar. Now this isn't a how-to video, it's more of just showing the before and after of the experiment. Now you can see in this one the muriatic is working a heck of a lot faster, it's actually bubbling away the rock, dissolving the calcite. In this one, <laughs> ain't much happening that you can see, but it's working. It'll just take a lot more time. Well, here's the rock from the muriatic acid. It was done bubbling and etching in a couple of hours. And if you look down in here, let me just do it that way. 
There's the color of the liquid. It went kind of a yellow greenish, whereas the vinegar stayed clear. And this is now six days later. <laughs> and it still is not done working. So it has to go back in. But it's starting to look interesting too. See that? So, let's look back at this bad boy. What's left is the epidote. It's made little vugs where the calcite has etched out. There's the iron still. And the bottom. It's kind of cool down there too. So let's put this one back in and see how it looks with more of this calcite removed. All right. So here's the rock out of the vinegar after 15 days. I refreshed the vinegar three times and you can see there's still calcite left, but that's okay. I like the look. The, uh, the iron has gone rusty color again, very brownish. There's what the bottom looks like. There we go. See a couple little vugs where the calcite was. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but up in here, some kind of black crystal, very small. And then the green, of course, looking like a bit of forest or moss down in there. That's the epidote. So I'm pleased, hope you liked it, and we'll do it again sometime. Thanks for watching.